Well, today I'll be showing you how to install a live wallpaper in the background here. So the first place I'm going to is the GitHub repository for Como Rebi. We'll go until we see how to install Como Rebi. I'll make sure to put a link in the description below so you can check out the repo too. And we're gonna take the easy route today, but you can also install it the hard way through source code if you're brave enough or if you wanna play on legendary mode. Regardless, I'm going to the Como Rebi release pages and on the releases page, we can read more about Como Rebi and the latest issues that have been fixed. What I'll say is this project is a little stale. It's from 2018, but it still works well even here in Ubuntu 22.04. You'll want a Debian based distribution in order to actually be able to install this because it's a dev package and we can install a dev package on Ubuntu. So I'm gonna click on this and that's going to start downloading the dev package. And once it's downloaded, I'm going to hit the show folder button so we can see it inside of our downloads folder. Now that I see it here, I'm gonna right click on it and hit open with another application. If you don't see the open with software install option, by clicking this, that will reveal that option and I'm going to hit select. And I'll give it a few moments and Como Rebi should pop up. You'll see the Ubuntu Software Center where we can hit the install button over here. So after hitting that install button, you'll be asked for administrative privileges, put your password in for a root user and hit authenticate. And that will start the install of the package. After it's installed, you'll see how large the size of the app is, which is 32.5 megs here for me. You'll also have this delete button as well, but don't start things up quite yet because we need to install a library before we can successfully run Como Rebi. I'm gonna exit out of these two things and then go over and start a terminal so that we can install that library. We're gonna type in sudo apt install and we want the G streamer 1.0 dash lib AV library. I'll also put this in the description below so you know what package to install. This should be the only one that we need. And once you have that in, press enter, you're going to be asked for an administrative password. Put that in. It's around 214 megabytes for this library because it requires all these other ones in order to run. If you're okay with that, hit enter or select the yes and give it a few moments to install everything. What I probably should have done before that was actually do sudo apt update. If you can't find the library for some reason, more than likely your repositories aren't up to date. So make sure to give that a try if you have any issues while trying to download and install these libraries and packages. And now that we have that library, let's go back to the desktop and I wanna go up to activities and search for Como Rebi. It should be an application at this point. Look at that, we have Como Rebi available. If we click on that, it will automatically change our wallpaper. And you'll notice that the icons on the desktop are probably going to go away for you. Not a big deal, you can get back pretty easily, but that's just the default mode for Como Rebi. You might get a ready notification up top once things are ready to go. But if you right click, you're gonna have a few different options here. We can hit the change wallpaper or desktop preferences. Click either one, takes you to the same place. Just give it a moment to load. If you hit the quick Como Rebi button, that's going to exit out of this background and then get you back to your normal desktop. All right, most of these are static images. Let's just select one so we can see things change in the background. Absolutely wonderful. Como Rebi seems to be working, but that's not why we installed Como Rebi. We installed it so we can get a live wallpaper. So. Let's choose one that is a live wallpaper and look at that. Congratulations. If you made it this far, you've successfully installed Como Rebi and you're ready to use it. There are plenty of different available wallpapers here. Really the only one that I think is truly a live wallpaper is this one right here. They call it the Aurora Video. That's cool, but that's probably not what you're here for. You probably wanna make your own live wallpaper. So we'll give that a shot real quick. And in my downloads folder, I've downloaded one of my favorite live wallpapers that I'll be running. I went to Pixabay and found myself one that I like. One thing I'll mention is you'll probably want a screenshot of this because it's kind of required when you're creating your wallpaper. So just use the screenshot tool to take a screenshot of whatever you're planning on using. That way you have a thumbnail. And once you have that, put that somewhere where you're gonna remember I'm gonna put it in the download since that's where my 
video is at. And if we go back up to activities to show our applications again, I'm going to launch a different tool this time. If we start typing in Como Rebi, you're gonna get this wallpaper creator. You can also reach it, of course, by just typing wallpaper creator. Either way, open this up. This is the Como Rebi wallpaper creator. And the first thing we need to do in order to create our own here is give it a name. So I'm gonna call this fittingly, hello world, add an video, not an image. One of the coolest things is a web page. I'll show you how that works in a moment. And I'm going to select wherever my video is. Here it is, hello world, hit open. And finally, add a thumbnail so I can distinguish it later. Here's my PNG for that, fantastic, next. Next we get to select whether one we want the date and time selected or hide it. We can enable the parallax effect, center the position of things, put margins on, do whatever. I'm not gonna mess with it too much, I'm just gonna leave it Let's see, hide it actually, because it doesn't make much sense. Hello world's kind of in the middle anyway. And then I'm gonna hit next and it is officially done. But be careful because it does tell you to do something here. Copy and paste this into a terminal just to make sure things get moved properly. You might need your password for administrative privileges. Once you got that copied in, fantastic work. You can now hit close. Back to the desktop. Gonna exit out of here. I'm gonna hit change wallpaper and I should have hello world available. And look at that. If I hide things, I have hello world in the background. I've successfully changed it to whatever background that I want. Awesome work. Let's try one last thing here so I can show this off a little more. If we go to the wallpaper creator again, I'm going to call this one globe view two, add a web page, copy paste without the resolution, add my thumbnail, hit next, next. Copy paste this one more time, put my password in and that should be it. Close out, change the wallpaper and set it to the new one. And look at that. My globe is finally showing up in the background and this is how you can keep track of some website as well directly on your desktop, which is an absolutely fascinating way to keep track of information. Of course, you can't really interact with it much like you could a normal website, but it is a fantastic feature for those of you who have a website that you'd love to follow. Maybe some statistics, maybe the debt ceiling or the amount of debt that your country has, who knows, whatever you like doing. Let me know in the comment section below how much you enjoyed watching this. And if you did, make sure to smash that like button. Catch me in a great community on Discord. Subscribe below and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.